everyone, it's me. Um, welcome to the second Ghost Girl podcast, uh, Ghost Girl episode podcast. Um, I'm your host, Kristen, and let's get started. Alright, so, first we're going to start off with the news. Um, not too long ago, Ghost Girl, the, fi- the official fan-made Ghost Girl page on Facebook, announced that Tanya Hurling was working, maybe working on a special Ghost Girl project coming um, in 2012, and she said it was secret, but to me, I mean, can you say a movie? I mean, really, it's it's either a movie or a new book, one of those, and I think that us fans, I think that no matter what she makes and no matter what she does with Ghost Girl, we will like it, and I think when, as soon as, in, um, If she makes something else besides Ghost Girl, I think we'll still like it. And, you know, I mean, I'm excited. I'm really excited. And especially when it's a Ghost Girl, you know, project. You know, it might be... I mean, you never know what it is. You never know if it's going to be a book or a movie. It's one of those. I mean, I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm extremely excited. And, you know, I'm just... I'm overwhelmed right now. I was sitting in front of my computer squealing over the fact that it might be a movie, you know? And so, you know, I'm excited. I'm really excited. And so, yeah, that's, that's that. Glad I got that out of the way. And now we're going to go into the second chapter of the Ghost, the first Ghost Girl book, and it's called Dying to be Popular. Um, it starts out with, um, Charlotte going to her first period, um, class, physics, and here she is in the cl- same class as Damon, Petula, and the Wendy's. And she describes this as like watching an episode of Wild Kingdom. And I mean, that's of the best way to put it. And um, and they've got the teacher, Mr. Widget. Now, Mr. Widget is like no other teacher. People say that he's like a game show host, and I have to agree with that. He, um, he has a glass eye, um, which kind of makes everyone, um, you know, kind of, wor- uh, like, quite, like, worried, you know, like, he might be watching you, or he might be watching everyone, you never know. And, um, so, in here, he starts to, um, he starts to, he says that everyone should get a lab partner, and everyone starts to squirm around and get a lab partner, and Petula is left alone, but, and the Wendy's are together, but Petula is, um, impatiently grabs a Wendy, and in Wendy Thomas, she grabs Wendy Thomas, and, um, uh, likewise, Wendy Anderson snaps, snatches up the last job she could find, um, in lightning speed, uh, every, everyone starts to, you know, you know, just get their Um, they get their partners, and Charlotte is once again left behind. She says, she starts to think, is it really possible to feel so alone in a crowded room? And, of course, yes, it is. And, um, she starts to feel, you know, left out and really, really sad. And, you know, really, she can feel her her ears getting hot. And, um, and, uh, uh... Mr. Widget says, come on people, she seems capable, and Charlotte was waiting for him to bust out into an auctioneer voice, but he didn't, and so she's like, thank God. Um, and then Damon, as if, like, asking you shall receive, Damon walks in, and she, and she's immediately saved, and, um, she's, he's signed up as her lab partner, and she, I mean, right now, she's just over the moon, the by the fact that, um, he, the, by the fact that, um, she's got him as a lab partner, and then, um, Mr. Widget, um, uh, tells them that this might be fate for both of them, and then he leans over to Damon and says that, tells him about the new policy, that if you don't, um, maintain a C average, that you could get kicked off of the football team, and so, yeah. So, um, Damon, um, 
starts to tell her that, you know, you're smart, and I was wondering if you could help me st study. And, she is, and she's like, well, of course, you know, and she does that, and, um, she, they are rudely interrupted by Petula, which, um, she interrupts with, where were you, with the where were you, and she coo she coos, I was so worried, and he was, and he said, and Damon says, not worried enough to wait for me, and she says, you didn't expect me to wait, like, forever, did you, and she, he says, and of course, Charlotte is, um, over, is, like, shocked by this, because she would have waited, uh, forever and a day for him, and he says, waited, I mean, forever, I told you it might be a little late, and she said, oh, really, I didn't get your text, um, and he says, well, how did you know it was a text, so, you know, like, he's just like, I mean, you know, back talk, and she says, my phone is in my bag, and my bag is, and introducing one of my favorite characters right here, and this is Scarlett Kingston, Petula's younger sister. Scarlet is probably one of my favorite characters in the whole entire book. She is, I mean, awesome, and I love her. She's, I mean, she's great. And so, um, she, Petula snatches the bag from her, um, and says that, I told you, I didn't I tell you to never touch my stuff? And she said that she left it, that you, she said that she left it in her, in her dad, their dad's car, and she didn't want her to get textually frustrated, God forbid. And then she said, besides, I know how hard it is for you to get through a day without lip plump. And she says, I don't plump. And, you know, now Scarlet is kind of a um, burlesque meets dark wave kind of girl. She has, you know, she's, oh, she's all about vintage right now. She's vintage and not like, she's like, she's cool. And, but the thing is, is that um, Scarlet and Petula... The only thing they really have in common is DNA, so, you know, yeah. And, um, so Petula goes through her purse and sees that she has a, um, that she has everything and pulls out a razor, a razor blade, and says, and gives it to Scarlet and says, this is for you, a little gesture of, of appreciation, maybe you can use it to relieve some stress later. And, of course, coming back with a, um, response, uh, Scarlet says, the only way I'll relieve stress is if I cut your throat with it. But then again, what would you vomit your meals through? And so, Charlotte gasps, but note, no one hears it except for Scarlet. And Scarlet, um, snaps back with a, what are you looking at? And before Charlotte could get, uh, who me out, um, Scar uh, Scarlet turns and bolts out the door. Um, and then, uh, Petula, like, <laughs> Petula start, like, to make sure that Scarlet is all the way down and doesn't see her. She, um, opens up her, reaches for a lip gloss and smacks her lips with a signature, sh with her, um, signature shade of pink. And so, yeah. And then the, um, and now Sam Wolf, he's kind of a slow person. Um, and now, and Petula starts to pick on him, and Damon gets mad, and, like, gets dis disgusted, and she attempts apolo an apology, but fails, and, um, yeah. So, Mr. Widget remind like, the bell, the bell rings, and everyone gets up except for Wendy's, the Wendy's, Damon, and Petula. They take their time getting out of class. Um, and Damon walks by. Mr. Widget's desk, and, so, and Mr. Widget reminds him of the new policy, and so Damon turns around, lifts up his, holds up his, um, physics books, physics book and in, in Charlotte's direction, and he shrugs as if, as if to, as if he was asking for Charlotte to give him an answer, and mouths, will you help me? Note, Charlotte is, I mean, like, is just popping gummy bears in her mouth like crazy. So, as Charlotte popped a last gummy bear in her mouth, she started to walk forward and mouth her response. She actually sucks in the candy and lodges it in her throat. Now, this whole entire scene, half a page, half a page, um, whole entire scene, pretty much, is her dying. And, you know, it's just, I think it's really, it's kind of sad, you know, it's just kind of, 
really sad and kind of just, you know, sad. <laughs> I know I said sad twice, but, you know, it's just, it's just really awkward, too, that she's dying on a gummy bear. But, yeah, so that's chapter two. And, um, the next chapter is chapter three, and chapter three, Awake. Um, and so, yeah, um, that was, that was the chapter two. Um, now we're, let's discuss the characters of, um, the second chapter. Um, with, this was, so, pretty much the chapter, the chapter one had all the characters that were in there from, cha from chapter two. Like, Petula, Wendy's, Damon, Scarlet. Scarlet is, like, like I said, she's more of a black, dark wave meets, um, burlesque kind of girl. She's really, like, she's into the goth vintage type stuff. And, I mean, I have to tell you, I love her. She, I love her style. I envy everything that she does. I swear. I, I love her to death. She's just so cool. She's crazy, too. And I, um, in a good way, too. And the fact that Scarlet is pretty much the only one, I noticed that she's the pretty much the only one that actually heard Charlotte. You know what I mean? Like, she actually saw her when, you know, no one really noticed, you know? And, um, the fact that she can see her when she's dead also, you know, right, like, is really, it's kind of, it's kind of foreshadowing, too, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of that foreshadowing thing. And so, yeah, and then Sam Wolf, he, Sam Wolf is in, you see him a few times, you, he, they mention him a few times, but they don't mention him a lot. Um, he, you see him, has, he has a very special, nice surprise at the end of the book. Um, but yeah, that was Ghost Girl, um, Dying to be Popular, um, Chapter 2. Um, that concludes this episode, this week's podcast, and I will see you next week, everyone. See you later. Bye.